hello my beauties what's up what's up y'all i got a quick message for y'all right quick so i'm sitting and i'm walking and y'all look i get messages god deliver me messages when i'm walking it's so freeing for me anywho i'm sitting here and i'm thinking about um freedom right and how people talk about being woke and whenever somebody would tell me that i'm woke it would it would it would um it would frustrate me it would irritate me and i'd be like well why and the hell is this shit frustrating me? Because I'm like, I know it ain't true. I know I'm not the one um, who was ever asleep. I'm like, I've always been woke. I've always been conscious and aware um, of a lot of things that's been going on. I've always been conscious and aware that I was enslaved and imprisoned, right? And so I had to recognize that I'm not woke because I was never asleep. Stay with me for a second, y'all. I'm not woke because, nigga, I was never asleep. I've always been conscious and aware of what's been going on just beneath our noses, right? I never felt that I um, that I had the support that was needed, right, to help free us. And then I was thinking about how every time I would watch certain movies and certain TV shows and plays where um, movies, TV shows, plays, whatever it was, and I would I would wonder why it would frustrate the hell out of me when the people, whether it be f- literal, you know, physical enslavement or imprisonment, or if it would be, you know, um, figurative, figurative um, enslavement of some kind. And I would wonder why it would frustrate the hell out of me so much when um, it would frustrate the hell out of me so much when um the person so everybody who's enslaved right knew that they were enslaved right and wanted to be free but there was always in the movies right you can think of any movie right there was always this one person who stood against the tyranny. There was always this one person that spoke out against what the hell was going on. There was always this one person, at least one, maybe two, but there was at least one who would always go against the tyranny, the enslaved mindset, the imprisonment. They would go against it because they knew it was wrong. And I had to recognize the reason why I would always get triggered or be frustrated and irritated when I would watch those movies and those shows and those whatever, where those situations would happen. It would be because that's my testimony, baby. That's my story. And I would I would wonder why, y'all, I was never asleep. So I'm not woke. I've been conscious, baby. I went to a celebration for Kwanzaa this past Sunday and one of the ladies literally told me she said she's already elevated come here the lady says she's already elevated now she woke baby she elevated she's where she needs to be so I don't know who this message is for but listen to me if you know you've always been conscious and aware of what's been going on around you and you are every time you spoke against the tyranny every time you spoke against the the mistreatment or the belittling or the manipulation every time you spoke against it and the very same people get this part y'all come here lean in right quick get this part every time you spoke against the same things that were also imprisoning the other people who claimed that they wanted to be free listen to me those people would fight you against being free against doing what it took to become free against doing what it took to break the chains why is that Come here. That message for somebody. It's for somebody strong too. Listen to me. Listen to me. I don't know who message is that. I don't know who message that is. But if it is, if it's your message, comment below and let me know that that's your message. But listen to me. Y'all, that's my story. 
I fought against the tyranny. I fought against the bullshit. I fought against it. And the very same people who were also in prison and enslaved just like me claimed that they wanted to be free just like me. Anytime I did something that went against what they were telling us to do or trying to force us to do that wasn't freedom, that wasn't living, that wasn't love, that wasn't life, right? Anytime I spoke against that shit, I was being attacked by the very people who were also imprisoned. Listen to me, y'all. I was also being getting pushed back, y'all. That's the part that never clicked for me. Why am I still getting pushed back from the very people who are enslaved just like me who claim that they want freedom, y'all? I ain't woke, baby. I ain't woke because I ain't ever been asleep. I ain't ever been asleep, baby. I ain't ever been asleep to the bullshit that's been going on. I was, I was born woke. Catch that. I was born conscious. I was born conscious, baby. <laughs> Got to understand me when I say that. And I say it proud, too. I was born conscious. Whoever message that is, share this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know. That's the message, my biggest peace and love. It's your girl tonight. This is.